This is, wait, can you put your hand behind me and pull my neck? I'm serious. <laughs> it's like, that's it's what like Tracy in the, does. In the big, in the, in the big Fat Greek wedding. Yeah. I just have to keep my hand there the whole time. And move it when you want me to talk. Yeah. Look at the difference. Holy shit. Exactly. Leave it there. Put oh your my God. We really me. look, you were in the same glasses too. Oh my God. We look exactly the same. It's pretty frightening. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Right now I'm sitting here with my mother. You probably recognize her because she has been featured on many videos of mine and every single time she is in a video, I get questions from you guys or just basically comments all over. Comments to letting me know that you want to know like how my mom does her makeup what her favorite products are today What we're going to be doing is I'm going to be doing my mom's makeup using her favorite products So she brought all the products that she uses from home It's in this lululemon bag and she's basically going to be letting us know why she likes the products that she uses I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do let me know all of your thoughts down below and subscribe because puppies boop, 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 boop. So let's zoom in and uh, let's get started. And what's on my mom's nails, because I know I'm gonna get so many questions, it's chrome powder on top of gel. So unfortunately we don't really like have like a name. No, but it turns rose gold because I have like an orangey color underneath it and then when the chrome is applied it turns rosy and it is my, my go-to. Yeah, this. my mom always <laughs> has chrome on her nails because she's a cool mom. She's not a normal mom. <laughs> First for the primer, we are using this. Here, I guess you could say it. Yes, it's the Dermalogica primer. Um, I love it. It just like, so your makeup doesn't sink into your pores. It's almost like- Oh, it's like, like pore filling? I don't know, okay. but it works. <laughs> <laughs> but this one I find leaves a little bit of a sheen, so it, it's- It does, it almost it looks... has like coverage. By the way guys, like I have not done somebody else's makeup in a really long time, so. Perfect. This can go both ways. <laughs> I don't know, my mom is like one person that I, I very rarely am able to get her makeup right. Like, I feel like I could do other people's makeup like just fine, but with my mom, I don't know why. I, I can never do something that she actually ends up liking. She's too nervous doing her own mother's makeup. I, th I think that's really what it is. There's so Probably. much pressure. So that. I use the Charlotte Tilbury um, under eye concealer. It's the retoucher. Yeah, I, I love it. It's lightweight. It does not go into your fine lines, which I find most concealers cake up when you smile you get all these crevices in your face which are not a good thing to see and this does not do it it's thin thin but it covers it gets rid of the the dark circles which i have more of these days i i don't know why is it because of me do i stress you out because of you Top actually it. the kat von d one that's shaped like a pyramid is my favorite 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 brush for blending out concealer mm, oh it's here yes that's it so, oh shit. Let's say the brush number like you do. <laughs> so it's the number 40 from Kat Von D. It's like Best a small brush. concealer brush. And I'm really just gonna concentrate this like where she's the darkest, which is like right in that inner corner. I find that, I'm sorry to say this, but for more mature skin, you do need to make sure that you're using a very small amount of product. You do not wanna overdo it. If you have any fine lines or yeah, it just looks any worse. crevices, it just will emphasize them. So. I really do like to make sure that I apply the smallest, smallest amount and sort of just make it last, you know, throughout the face so I'm not overdoing it and there's not too much product. My, I know my mom specifically really hates when she looks cakey. So I literally use like that little tiny amount that I had on my hand on both eyes and it's perfect. And you could build on this if you, if you want to. Yeah, of course. It's so funny because I did a video with my mom like when I first started my channel and when I watched myself do her makeup, I'm like cringing so deeply inside because you I made know, my lips huge I, I remember <laughs> it was like it was not it was not good So hopefully it this will be good. a big improvement from that video because I've been wanting to redeem myself for that one for a long long time People liked it. We did not but everybody else. Did. I mean, I liked it I think at the time but now I feel like I know better and it's when I first started doing my makeup course. I didn't have a lot of practice working on um, like my mom or just other people in general. So I just, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm much better now. At least I hope I am. I this is it? a jumbo size. <laughs> well, like, I got it at the, it's can the I say where I bought it? Your can I say where I bought it? Yeah, of course. I bought it off the shopping network and it came with the brush, which is amazing. It's a dual end brush and it's fantastic, but I'll never finish this because you need 
not even a half a pump. Literally, a half a pump oh is, is too much for me. I, I can't even finish it. This Don't is, squeeze a lot. I won't. This is hilarious because this is literally the size <laughs> of my face. And you guys know how much I love the it's It Cosmetic so. CC. It's my all-time favorite. So anyways, I'm just going to use this buffing brush from Tarte to buff this into her skin. And then I'm going to smooth over it with the Beauty Blender. So she really doesn't need that much foundation. Her skin is like super, super nice. You just have a tiny bit of redness. So that's why I don't want to apply too much. I just sort of want to, you know, make your skin look nice and even. That's exactly what I do. And I don't put a lot on my nose because of my glasses. Yeah, the glasses marks, the dreaded glasses marks. Yeah, I would, I would just feel like it would be getting all over it. Yeah. See, you don't need a lot. No, not at all. I'm going to take a little bit more of the concealer and sort of just conceal a little bit more around her nose so that I don't cake on the foundation instead. I'm also gonna just put some here. Oh, here we go. We're marking up the face. No, no, no. I just want a little bit because you're a little bit red in the center of your forehead. So I just want to. And I'm using a sponge, and that's going I to. I use a sponge too. That's the other. Really, like soak up the product, so it's not gonna make it look heavy. Do you use powder? A very little. I use the hourglass because Jamie told me to, and it's really good. And you don't see anything. I don't even know if it goes on when I put it on. It's so like you don't see it but it, I know that it just mats it and it doesn't, I don't ever get lines or anything. So it's works like, right? Yeah, okay, so this is basically just um, the dim light setting powder under eyes, cause it's for the under eyes. Cause I can't see, so. <laughs> if I don't have my glasses on and I don't have a mark big, I can't tell what it is. Talk about these all the time, but they're just really nice powders because they, um, are very finely milled so they sit on the skin like nothing else um, especially if you do have any fine lines it won't accentuate them as much as like a heavier powder would say a loose powder and I do recommend that if you do have mature skin that you do not use a loose powder because loose powders um, tend to sort of accentuate lines more than pressed powders it's just kind of to dry it almost well just to, so to stop it from creasing yeah Okay, so my favorite, favorite. Oh, God. Yay, bare the minerals. Bare Mineral Serum. <laughs> if you're watching, please oh. send my mom a lifetime supply of this. I, I, this is amazing. <laughs> this is the best stuff ever. It's just a very natural looking like liquid bronzer and it's very thin texture because it is a serum. Okay, beauty blender it, baby. And I'm just going to put that, put that into the skin. You can see how quickly this just like melts into the skin. It's so, so natural looking. It's crazy. A, normally a liquid and cream bronzer is a bit thicker yeah so it could be a little bit more difficult to like work into the skin this however just like blends so nicely so what's your favorite thing about me <laughs> i love you jamie you're so hard working and good at what you <laughs> do joking. and genuine and lovely you're everything everybody sees oh it's true there's no bs here it's she's all she's a real deal that's really nice. <laughs> Don't ever leave me. <laughs> then we do contoury bronzery kind of a deal. My Marc Jacobs bronzer. Ooh. I don't know what color. I can't read. I think I bought this with you. Yes. Tantric. Tantric. And I kind of just use it. Okay. Because I kind of feel I need like a little more depth. It literally looks like you've never touched this. I go... Like, the, like I, I, I tap twice and then, and I blow and I use that for my whole face. Don't blow on your brushes. It's gross. Oh, okay, I don't spit on my brushes. Relax, Jamie. I, I, I usually just like build it up on the brush and then I tap it off. Yeah, I. That's that's how I do it. My other daughter goes through bronzer. I don't know. I think she eats it. Like, every time she comes in, she doesn't live here. She needs more bronzer, and I, I, I have a bronzer. I've had it for like five years. I don't understand what she does with it. Like how you could use that up. Gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. Except you keep flattening my hair, miss. I'm sorry, because I'm trying to get it out of your your face. Eyebrows. Now, Anastasia is definitely my end came off, but yes, that is my uh my <laughs> go-to all the time. No, I have. I'm just this is almost finished. Okay. But I just got this from somebody. Me. It's Maybelline. <laughs> it's the new Total Temptation. And it's really, really good. And I'm sure it's a quarter of the price yes yeah and it's it's excellent because some of them there isn't a difference but some of them when you put it on because I really have to fill in my brows it becomes so waxy that kind of the product comes off if you use mm, too much of it yeah. that's why I like Anastasia because it it deposits well and this has this kind of a um 
applicator, which I don't generally like, but you could be precise with this and it's fantastic. And then you could blend it out with a little spoolie and it works fantastic. So I'm liking <laughs> this too. So that's why I brought it, even though Anastasia, she told me to bring my favorite, is definitely my favorite, but this this could be okay, my favorite so too. So let's use this whole thing. Could be my best today. friend. Oh, oh, don't do that. What? You sighed when you looked at my brows like, <laughs> oh my God, what are we gonna do? Well, my mom has been trying to grow out her brows for quite some time. I can't, this is, this is what it is. And I've been using a growth serum, which is definitely. This matches helped. your brows perfectly actually. Yeah. No, I think my eyebrows are good now. I think I'd look yeah. stupid with thick eyebrows. I never had that e even as a kid. Yeah, they were like the spermy shape with the yeah, round yeah. head. And I, Jamie like went, whoa, we got to fix that. I remember like <laughs> after doing my makeup classes, I was like, Yeah, come here, Ma. I, can I please? I'm fixing your face. <laughs> it made such a difference. And you, after a while, you don't see it on yourself. But then I was kept looking at all my friends thinking, hmm, I just want to pluck their eyebrows. Oh my God. <laughs> Jamie bought me this eyeshadow palette. Anastasia also coincidentally and I love it because I usually put this color on my lid this color in my crease and this color like to deepen like it. to deepen it and it and underneath my eye look everything looks amazing and this sometimes on the top so there beauty mark fresh uh, gleam and then fun so I'm just <laughs> gonna take the fun on the, my fluffy brush I feel my mom keeps her eyes open so because she's a bit of a hooded eye so close so I know exactly where to place it. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit just sort of around the eye. And I also like to elongate her eye a little bit um, by flicking out the outer corner a little bit. So because we're not doing like a super defined look, I like to start, sort of create that shape with the tr transition crease shade that we're using, which is the fawn. And it just creates a little bit of a shadow, really nothing crazy at all. It's so funny because she <laughs> watches a lot of like my YouTube friends on YouTube as well. So I she'll do. watch Sam and she'll be like, can you please text Sam and ask her how she did this that like cut crease. specific I, I want that cut crease. Unfortunately, when you're like uh, my age, the cut crease is automatically there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking um, Beauty Mark and just putting a teeny, teeny bit right on that outer corner of her eye to elongate her eye because she really likes it when her eyes are a little bit more like whoosh. And so I just buff that. I don't want it to be too harsh at all. This is supposed to be for every day. Gorgeous. I have a dentist appointment later. He's just gonna fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take the smallest amount of her concealer just to clean up that outer corner so that, you know, it looks straight ahead, so that the eyeshadow doesn't surpass. This is like especially important Oh yeah, that's a good trick. Because it will just sort of lift the eye and stop from any eyeshadow from sort of surpassing that area. Because when your eyeshadow goes low, it's drooping your eyes. Exactly, and you want everything to be lifted. That's super a good tip. That's a very good tip. Super good tip. Super good tip. So I'm gonna put a little bit of gleam on her lid. I'm gonna take my finger. I'm just gonna put a little bit like in the center of the lid to like make her eyes pop a little bit. It's such a beautiful shade, you guys. Oh my goodness, look at that. So pretty. So I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow though today and I'm just gonna use this to sort of sketch out a line on her upper lash line. But when I do use a pencil though, I draw it on and then I buff it with a, um, a brush so there's yeah. no harsh lines. This is a good way to do it just with the eyeshadow. It sort of like, sort of saves you that step because if you use an eyeshadow, it'll automatically look a little bit softer, you know? So I'm gonna take a little bit of Beauty Mark on a little pencil brush and I'm gonna just sort of smudge it going only about a quarter of the way. And I'm making sure to connect it at that outer corner. My mom recently mentioned this mascara in my uh, $98 versus $5 mascara video that I just did. So we're gonna be using it today. It's the L'Oreal Butterfly Sculpt. Oh, yeah, excellent. Oh, my eyes look good, Jane. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Yeah. I could keep layering this and I'll have like literally. Go for it, go for it, baby. Butterfly lashes, like it's insane. My favorite probably for, I don't know how many years, is this MAC, what is it called, Jane? It's Melba. I really feel like it's nice when you go heavier with the blush. I know, I, I don't, usually. Sometimes I do and then I go outside and it's like, and I take a Kleenex, <laughs> wipe everything off, wipe everything down. Most important, we need highlighter. It's a golden hour highlighter in the shade uh, Dusk. Really pretty. So I put that here and I put that under uh, on my eyebrow bone. I usually like uh, the, and the hourglass, the hourglass, one, hourglass too. one too. Yeah. I started doing that. 
I saw that somewhere. Very cool. I did that, and then I, you do that when you have lipstick on a little bit. You you put the highlighter on, and it I don't know it, blings out your lips. It's uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna spray her face with a little bit of the Cuddly Beauty Elixir. Pity. Oh my God, does that smell good? Mm -hmm. It's like a spa. It is like a spa. Okay, so lips. last but not least are the lips. I am definitely <laughs> not gonna do my mom's lips because there's one she thing can't. that I can't do. I don't know why. And that's lips on anybody, except for myself. I forgot my lip liner, but I use a very neutral color lip liner. Okay. And sometimes I also fill it in a little bit with my pencil. Yeah. I go on either side of the Cupid's bow and sometimes right in the center. And then my most favorite lip gloss of all is the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Glosses. They are velvety, they are not sticky. It's the only lip gloss I've ever completely used up and repurchased. I, this is probably my fifth bottle. It's uh, Allow Me. Oh yeah, Allow Me. So I buy it in multiples of two because <laughs> if this ever gets discontinued, I'll be horrified. Okay. Good job, Jamie. <laughs> I you try made my mommy best. look at least, I don't know. 20 years younger. At least. At least. Um, I look disgusting, first of all. I don't. Yeah, you look way better than I do that right now, that's for sure. Her makeup is done. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to all of her tips. I enjoyed listening to it. I thought it was really fun. I had a really good time doing it. It was. This. It was fun, and now yeah. I don't have to do my makeup for tonight. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. You're good to go. You guys have to like this video. <laughs> oh, he's kissing Jamie. <laughs> it, 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 that one actually in my ear. <laughs> so that's it. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.